Hello everyone, Joe here and we're in a, a new video today, um, a new video of a new game that's just recently been released. A uh, free to play game, as this is a new series which I'm starting up, this is going to be the first episode of this series. Uh, this is uh, Microsoft Flight. Um, I'm pretty sure any of you uh, flight sim enthusiasts out there uh, will know what this game is. Um, and uh, you may have been looking forward to it, uh, I don't know. Um, mixed reviews on this game apparently, so I'm going to test it out myself. Give it a go. This seems to take for ages, this loading content bit. I have no idea why. But, um, as I said, uh, mixed reviews in this game, so best way to find out is find out ourselves. So, um, I'm going to go straight into the game once it's loaded. And, um, I was going to say, yeah, this is a new series I've just opened up on Mystery Gamers channel. It's called Free to Play. So I'll be basically showing off uh, all free games, not just RPG games, not just shooter games, not just flight sim games. All games, all free games that uh, you can grab off the internet um, and play, you know, and get the most out of. And um, as this is newly released, this game is, um, I wanted to go straight into this. So um, once it loads up, we'll give it a go. Um, I play a lot of flight sims, I've got my joystick here, so I'm ready to, to go, to be honest. <laughs> so once we get in, we'll give it a go. But um, as I said, um, I mean, uh, yeah, this this game is getting quite a few mixed reviews um, from the like flight sim veterans out there who are amazing at flight simulators, who play them all the time. I mean, I play a lot of flight sims, so I wouldn't class myself as a veteran, but um, yeah, I do enjoy flight simulators. But um, they they're not particularly happy with this game um, because it's it's not like a normal flight simulator like previous the predecessors. Uh, it's more um, easier. It's more suited to the um, to the newbies of flight simulators who aren't, you know, big on flight simulators who have just literally just got into it um, and need a bit of a kickstart into the flight simulator world. Oh, here we go. All right, okay. So, uh, oh, this is a nice menu screen. I've played a bit. Um, I've played a bit already. I've given it a quick go. I haven't got. To, I haven't played too much into it. But um, yeah, so this is the menu screen. From here, you got all your options. Um, I presume if you click this, it takes you to the website or something. Not too sure. But uh, here we go to go to options. I presume this has got your graphics options, your controls, your aircraft, aircraft, aircraft controls, your different joysticks. There's my joystick there. Um, game keyboards, graphics. I'm going to set mine. So that's for YouTube HD, the 720. So, yeah, that's about it there. So that's all nice. Um, I mean, I'll just quickly say that the, uh, when I was setting up the game, the aircraft controls, it's really an easy interface to just set this all up. I mean, there really isn't as as much controls in this. Look at that. That's all the controls, as there is in the normal flight simulators, which is why this game is getting mixed mixed reviews because it is it's more less than a flight simulator than the other flight sim. It's more of a game now. It's becoming more of a game. So. Um, that, that, that could be good or it could be bad, it depends on people's opinions. So, at the moment there's this Hawaiian adventure pack. Uh, this is like a, a free, no not free, <laughs> it's not free at all. It's an add-on to the game, which is a, a real shame I think that you have to buy all the places you want to go to. You, you, for the starter you just get this uh, place, and that's the only place you can go. You can't fly from from where I live in the UK down to America, you can't do that on this game. Because um, it's not you've not you got to buy the places around the world. I'm not really too sure to be honest how it's all gonna work, but uh, might as well jump in and play now. So we're gonna go play. Uh, so you come up with this map here. So this is all I've got so far. That's it, pretty much. This, just this. I don't even think I have this. Yeah, I don't have it. No, you have to buy it. So it works in Microsoft points, as you see here. Um, you buy things with Microsoft points and stuff, so you have to have the Microsoft points. Which, um, it's kind of annoying because I want to know the real pli price of uh, stuff. So uh, there we go. There's the place where we get to fly. Um, there is a multiplayer option, but I'm not going to play it for now. We're just going to go single player for now. Let's go straight to the hangar. So um, these are the planes you get for free. So you get the um, this uh, the Boeing. So yeah, you get this um, plane here, and. Um, just a standard plane really not uh it's not a big plane it's it's not very fast to be honest um it's just 
the plane. You get it in Flight Simulator as well, I think you get in this plane. So, but I'm um, just like to say about the graphic detail here. I mean, if you're looking at how, I mean, the graphics are really nice. I'm not gonna say they're not because they are nice. Uh, and then you get this plane as well. This is um the um icon. It is the icon of the Microsoft Flight franchise. Well, not franchise, the game itself. Uh, this is the plane you'll see all over the front cover and stuff like that. Um, well, front cover, even though there isn't a front cover, but ha! <laughs> yeah, you, this is the one that shows off uh, Microsoft Flight the most. And um, it's it's a weird plane, it's like a car that's a plane. It, it's confusing. Uh, it's pretty futuristic, it's quite cool. But um, yeah, and then these planes here, so you've got the standard uh, Cessna, well, Maul. Um, but I, I like to call it Cessna. There's your standard, um, and then you got a Mustang here, which is pretty nice. And these, I mean, that's 1,200 um, Microsoft points, which is like, I mean, that's 20, 20 pounds. So in dollars, that's even more. So you know, uh, we'll have a go in the icon for now. So that's the shame. I mean, so far, oh, just dropped my plane. Let's just take off from here. Yeah, we'll jump straight in. To be honest, we might as well go. So yeah, that's a bit of the shame, to be honest. I mean, in the pre uh, previous flight simulator, you just get all the planes job done, and then you can download more planes and stuff. But I really don't imagine that happening for this stuff, because if it was as easy just to download planes off the internet and install them, I mean, and there'd be no point in buying any, because nobody would buy them. So I don't really know how this is all going to work, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's about that. Uh, we'll go once this loads up. We'll go straight into the gameplay of the game. Um, gameplays from what I've already tried out um, it's pretty nice I, I, the graphics are nice um, it's a lot um, the GUI and stuff is a lot uh, more simple uh, you actually have like a proper built-in GUI now so you uh, GUI by the way means uh, uh, graphic user interface it's just like all this you see here if you're looking at the top if you can see my mouse you got your speed. You got it all tells you here. But on previous flight simulator, you had to look at the uh, these things here, the uh, altim altimeter and stuff, and the airspeed and all this. But uh, on this one, as this is an example of uh, how it's built for. Um, I guess there's a way you could probably turn it off. But uh, anyway, um, so yeah. So as you can see here, I mean the um, the inside of the plane is really nice. I mean, look at the texture details. I mean, there's no jagged lines. I'm really amazed how they've uh, managed to get the anti-aliasing anti in this. Really nice. So we could just hop out here. You can actually now, you can get out the plane. And this is pretty damn awesome. I mean, you can walk around and stuff. Like this. Uh, it's a bit, a bit laggy when you get out. Don't know why. There. I mean, if you're looking at those graphics right now, I mean, that's pretty, pretty cool. This is all quite nice. So yeah, you can get around, have a walk about. To be honest, you could just walk off, go for a walk around the city. But uh, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I guess we could do that at some point. I mean, textures, really nice. Graphically wise, this is a nice game. So let's hop back in. Okay. I guess we're ready to take off. So um, flaps, I don't know where the flaps button is on this plane. Uh, let's have a quick look. Nope, that's not it. And there is no flaps button. I'm pressing it on my joystick and nothing's changing, so there's no flaps on this plane <laughs> from the looks of it so far. Uh, this is brake, I think. Here we go, let's go. Okay. There we go. We better take off. Okay, let's get this right now. Get this about bang on. And then once we hit about. 65 knots will pull up. There we go. And boom! Oh yeah! Job done! <laughs> there we go, we're in the air. There we go. Okay, let's get this about right now. Need to get the trim, the elevator trimmed. I mean, as you can see here, I mean, look at this uh, scenery. I mean, it's quite nice here. Up a bit. I'm getting worried about this trim now. I just don't want to start going down. 
It's, it's really nice. Oh, hello. Lava foundation. Bloody hell. So, yeah, this is all pretty cool. Okay, so let's fly over here. Oh, God. There we go. So, what else do I need to show now? Now we're flying. Uh, we'll go for a landing in a minute. But, uh, I think there's an, another airport down here. I'd just like to say this is probably the slowest plane in the world. I mean, we're not even... I'm on full throttle, and I'm reaching around 70 knots max. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's quite a slow plane. But, that's, but for, you know, considering the fact... Oh, God. What the... What the... No. Go down. Oh, God. Too far down. Go back up. No. Too far up. Down. Okay. Pull up a bit. A little bit up. No, a little bit up. Not down. Okay. No, up. Go up. No. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Oh god. Get that about right. We want to balance this out. Oh god, I'm going down. The clouds. Previously, when I was playing before, I mean, the clouds were really messed up. These are looking alright now. Or maybe they've updated it or something since I last played. Alright, my computer fans have just stepped up a bit. <laughs> okay. We'll get over to the city over here. Um, should we change view? There we go. So as you can see, it's pretty nice to zoom in a bit here. Oh god, why have we still got the uh, landing gear up? Why, do I, why am I pulling up randomly? Ah! Okay, we've got the... Uh, I'm pretty sure this plane can land in water. Let's get this right. Oh god. There we go. Well, that's cool. Wheel. Wheel. That is so cool. I like that. As I said, no, I didn't say this, but um, the this game has been you can tell it's been optimized a hell of a lot more um, than um, saying that it likes a bit, but um, you can tell it's been optimized for newer generation computers and stuff, um, as it runs a hell of a lot smoother than Flight Simulator 10. That may be due to the scenery, though, considering the fact that all of this is in the world is this. But, um, still. However, I'm going to say this now. If you are a heavy flight simulator guy who is mad about flight sims and wants the most realistic experience, go for X-Plane. X-Plane 10. Until, you know, Microsoft bring out a proper new flight simulator game. Like Flight Simulator 11 or something, because um, this isn't going to give you your full realistic experience. I mean, this isn't uh, from the looks of it. There's no air traffic control or anything, to be honest. There's there's nothing really going on here. So um, yeah, we're flying over that city now. Whatever this is, a few houses on the floor. I mean, if you look at these trees, they're pretty cool, aren't they? they look really realistic. I think there was a canyon down there, but we're not going to fly there because it took ages to get there, if I remember right. Is there an air... Oh, there's a runway there. I'm pretty sure that's a runway. No, it's a road. <laughs> that would be pretty bad landing on the road. God, I can't get this right. There we go. You see a runway anywhere from up here? I don't see any runway. Um... So that's about it guys, I don't really know what else to show. Um, this is free by the way, so you know it fits in the free to play series. Oh god, I'm looking up. Uh, it fits in the free to play series, I mean, um, it is a, I mean, for what it is, the fact that it's free and you get all this stuff, it is, it's good fun, it's a good game. Um, I don't think I'll be playing it too much more, I think this is, I'll play it a couple of times and then not, and then I'll stop eventually because, uh, to be honest, there isn't really. I did have a thought that I thought maybe this game should have come out for the uh, for the Xbox and uh, PC um, rather than you know just PC because it isn't. It's it's more of a game than a PC than a uh, simulation. So um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I don't really know what to say. I could go for a landing. 
But the airport's like miles away and it'll take us ages to get there. Where was the airport? That's over there. Okay, we might as well. No, that's not it. Oh, it's there. We can fly over, can't we? Um, I'm going to fly over there. I don't know if you'll want to watch this, so you can just skip the video if you don't want to watch all this. Uh, we'll give it a fly over there. We'll take down the frost speed a bit. No, we want to want to get there as fast as we can. <laughs> um, I don't want this video to run on too long because um, I'm having real big problems rendering at the moment. I mean, it's taken for ages. It takes me like an hour to render like a 20 minute video. So um, I don't know if that's fast or slow to be honest. <laughs> but uh, it does. Oh, what hell? Got a student pilot. There we go. But um, yeah, that's it's, it's it is an hour of my time that I can't really do anything on the computer. Uh, so rendering at the moment is quite a big problem. Uh, uploading's fine because I've I've got a quite a speedy internet. So oh god, what the bloody hell! Am I being hit by lightning or something? Pull up a bit. Cheers. And then we want to pull this up. Drop the landing gear. God, this plane is really dodgy. It's just dropping on me. What are you doing? Pull up! Pull up! Oh God! No! Pull up! <laughs> okay. I'm well, going now. This is a really cool view. It looks like this the trailer or something. Oh God! I'm gonna crash into the water, aren't I? Landing goes down while traveling at speed. God. See, on the real flight simulator, that little thing wouldn't have popped up, and that's your problem if it's too low down. Oh no, I think a sound goes off on the when I was flying a Boeing jet. It goes mm, if you got your if you're really low down and your landing gear's down. Anyway, I don't know. Slow down a bit now. God. I'm using a joystick, by the way. I'm pretty sure I showed. Do that when I was doing out the options and stuff. Oh God! Um, I'm using a Cyborg, no Cy, Satex Cyborg 3D. Um, it's quite an old joystick, but uh, it's really nice. It does the job. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, it's got all the, it's got this throttle slider thing and stuff. So, uh, and then I've got like loads of buttons going on here. So, uh. No problem setting all the controls and stuff. And luckily, Microsoft Flight set it up all for me myself. For what? It set it up all uh, by itself. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Going in for a landing now. Once we've landed, we'll wrap up the video. Let's get this about right. There we go. Oh, God. That wasn't really good. Okay, going in now, slowing right down. Now pull this slider all the way back. We want to get quite a, a speedy landing. Then we'll push down the brakes. As I said, there's no flaps in this game. Well, there is flaps, it's just not on this plane. Or I have no idea. There's no button for it. Anyway, here we go. Okay, going in now. Here we go. Get nice and steady. Oh God! Oh, I'm stalling. I'm stalling. There we go. Break, break. There we go. Job done. There we go, we shut off the engine here. Hop out, we we'll have a bit of a walk around. So yeah, that's about it guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I enjoyed the game, I think, personally I think it's a good game. Um, there isn't too much to it yet, I mean, there's no really planes, there's this one and that other one. Um, both quite slow to be honest, I mean, see how long it took us just to get from here to those like, well, no it wasn't there was it? That was quite far away actually. Still took us a while though, still took us over 20 minutes or something. 
So, um, I mean, the graphics and everything, really nice. Um, all I can say is, it is a really nice game. Um, I'm not going to fault it, um, because it, the fact that it's free and stuff, you know, you can't, you can't turn it down, because it is free, in the end, and uh, you're not paying a dime for it um, at the moment. <laughs> until you start buying planes and spending lots of money on scenery and stuff but um, other than that guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, be sure to drop a like, drop a comment um, and check out the rest of Mystery Gamers videos and this is a, um, a free to play series so this is going to continue on um, and it's going to be a mix of loads of games I mean I mean, this is Flight Simulator and the next episode I've already planned it's going to be a a shoot 'em up game for Blacklight Retribution. So, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll see you in a bit. Um, goodbye and good day.